so given that Disney is now reforming their ways when it comes to exactly how they're about to balance Star Wars lore between Legends and the current canon and how it's all really going to be used in an equal matter that's going to cater to both hardcore fans, casual fans, and ways to attract new fans to the actual Star Wars franchise itself. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. It is greatly appreciated. Now, one thing about, of course, the new universe between everything related to Bob Iger and how he's currently shifting a lot of things around and how they, they are basically trying to minimize the amount of delays and or setbacks with all of their upcoming projects, which, by the way, is the main reason why Bob Iger came front and center and absolutely put things to a halt with Kathleen Kennedy prematurely announcing either Star Wars movies or Star Wars TV shows or just projects in general, right? Mainly to do with the movies, though. Now that brings us to exactly what the Disney board members have been bouncing back and forth behind the scenes in a most recent meeting that actually concerns the character of Luke Skywalker and his future when it comes to, of course, one iteration of the character. So we're going to be diving into a lot of this and exactly what it really means and where it could actually go for the actual Star Wars fandom. Now with that being said, we already know that Disney has this goal in mind. They have ambitions for the future of the franchise and exactly how it's going to be treated from this point on forward. So 2023, I believe, is going to be a very interesting year with, of course, Mando, Ahsoka, and Bad Batch. Now, with that being said, with Disney and Lucasfilm constantly making adjustments behind the scenes in order to evolve the Star Wars brand, Bob Iger has been making some changes behind the scenes and moving forward faster with some of the projects in the works, one of which is described to be a special edition series of the sequel trilogy films. However, it's noted that in a recent meeting between multiple Disney board members and Bob Iger, they were discussing strategies on how they could attract the fans back to the franchise. Some of the board members over at Disney pitched something very specific to Bob about reversing Luke Skywalker's death somehow, some way, as seen in The Last Jedi, when he met his demise by the hands of Ryan Johnson by Kathleen Kennedy. More than half of the board members pitched this idea of creating a proper story that could bring Luke back to the mortal world again, and, per and permanently this time around. Now, let me just pause here for a second. Now. We already discussed of how they already have plans settled out for Luke to come back to life in a Rise of Skywalker sequel series that's going to use the power of the wills, right? But only temporarily speaking, where he could actually become flesh and blood again. So now, basically what the Disney board members are discussing are a way that they could bring Luke back to life, permanently speaking, and completely reverse what happened during the events of The Last Jedi. However, on the other end of things, there's a debate about this. Other board members bring up a valid point that may not make this work, and we're going to tap into that in just a second. Now, Disney is finally coming to the realization that they should have never killed off Luke in the middle film of the most anticipated Star Wars trilogy at the time, all right? And I say at the time because before The Last Jedi came out, there was so much engagement, so much momentum, so much loyalty among the fans still. Even though The Force Awakens proved to be a little subpar at points, fans were still very loyal and excited to see what Episode Eight was gonna bring to the table. And now, it really makes you wonder, is this really going to fix anything? If they do, right the wrongs and make it that Luke never really died somehow. Maybe using the world between worlds or maybe doing something around that nature. Who knows? Would it really convince you that things are fixed 100%? I'm not quite sure a lot of fans would be. That's just my point on that. But moving to the next thing here that I think is even all the more involved. All right, let's get into it. So... 
and of course to eventually give Luke a better send-off in future projects is another thing. This is something that was being bounced back and forth between Iger and the Disney board members, at least some of them. However, other board members argued, this is where it comes to the play that it might not work, that there is no use in doing something like this, since Luke is already seen as a force ghost in The Rise of Skywalker. Some board members are seeking Favreau and Filoni's opinion on this currently on how they could make this happen in the Star Wars lore, and whether or not fans would even accept this at all from that point in time. There are already plans on enhancing Luke's death in The Last Jedi by inserting Force Ghosts behind his back, helping him. Disney is finally realizing that Luke is central to the story, whether or not this pitch advances will be known by January of 2023. So some of the other board members make a very valid point, all right? Is that Luke is already a Force Ghost in Episode 9. Now, we totally get that. That's completely understandable and could really block this pitch from even happening. However, if they want to pull a Days of Future Past situation, they could if they really wanted to. Absolutely, they could if they really wanted to. Would they really do that? I'm not quite sure to that extent. But they did it with, of course, Ahsoka Tano's fate. They could easily do it with Luke Skywalker's fate. Let's just be honest. It could be done in simple as one, two, three. So they're getting Favreau and Filoni on this conversation and everything's going to be made final by January. Whether it's going to move forward or not will be made final by January. So we got some weeks ahead of us until we will be learning more about that and we will be talking more about that as well. They are seeking to reverse Luke's death somehow, some way in the current lore. Now, the thing is, I think that there's only two options. And as I stated before, the world between worlds is probably the most realistic option to go through. The other of which is maybe tapping into the more, I guess you could say, um, unknown territory, right? The power of the wills. Showcasing Luke utilizing that power to bring him back as flesh and blood on a more permanent scale instead of a temporary scale. That could very well be a more direct and simple solution without tapping into the whole time travel thing. I think that might be the more realistic route to my understanding because it's the wills, they are the gods who created the galaxy and the universe at hand in the Star Wars world. And so I think that if you're tapping into the gods and the power of the deities, if you will, that could very well you know, give them a pass on how Luke could actually become flesh and blood again. Because let's face it, this was an original idea by George Lucas anyway, with Obi-Wan Kenobi coming back to life at the very end of Return of the Jedi as flesh and blood on, End on Endor. They wanted to make that happen. It did not end up happening in the script. They scrapped it. So overall, I would like to hear what you guys have to say about all of this below between the Disney board members and the other Disney board members kind of going back and forth with this and how they want to reverse Luke Skywalker's death. Do you think that this would even make a change among the fandom? I would like to hear what you have to say. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. It is greatly appreciated. And I'll catch you guys next time.